Welcome to my channel, my name is London, and today we are gonna be doing some Glossier Lip Swatches. These are the new Ultra Lip. I picked these up because I have a bunch of shades. I think I have all the shades of the Fenty Slip Shine lipsticks, and these are absolutely amazing, and I am obsessed with them. And so when Glossier came out with their Ultra Lips, it motivated me to try the entire Glossier line, pretty much. <laughs> so these are supposed to be like hydrating lip balm with a sheer wash of color type of lipstick. And they are $18 each. There are nine shades in total. I got six shades to swatch for you guys today. Let me let me just point out the Glossier's packaging. I love their packaging, the light pink and the white. I think it's super cute. And the lipstick looks like this. And this is what the Fenty Slip Shine looks like. And then I also got one shade of the Generation G lipstick, which is the white one, which is like the matte sheer wash of color. And they also have the Ultra Lip and then the Generation G on the back there. Oh, and another difference is the Generation G has a printed Glossier logo and this is has texture. They both have the shades on the bottom, but I have just been super excited about these. I love the shades. The other shades that I didn't pick up were a little bit more of the, or like reds. I picked up the colors that interested me the most. There are a ton of super pretty shades and I am super excited to try them out. So I'll show you guys some arm swatches of all the shades just swatched out right now. Some of these names are kind of hard for me to say, so I am going to avoid it. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the first shade. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Lucite, don't know, but it is such a pretty kind of nudie pink. We'll see. Yes, so it is more of a nudie pink. I didn't put any on the top. I just only put it on the bottom. These feel amazing on the lips. Here's what the first shade looks like. And here is an up close. I think it looks so pretty. Great live in the bag type of shade. All right, next shade up is Villa. This is another super pretty kind of pinky, almost brick shade, I wanna say. Ah, this one's pretty. It's a little bit more of like a rosy berry, my lift but better kind of a shade. This one is definitely a shade I would wear realistically with this eye look. And here is an up close. This shade is so pretty. I knew these were gonna slowly become a staple in my routine. Ooh, I am so excited about this one. This one is Trench. Ooh, kind of like that orangey brown shade. I don't know what it is about these, kind of like orangey brown shades, but I, I'm obsessed with them. I think they look so pretty, like a good earthy toned. But I've been slowly replacing like the obsession with the mauve lipsticks with these kind of earthy toned lipsticks and I cannot look back. And here's what Trench looks like up close. These are so, so nice. I love filming lip swatches, but I'm always afraid of my lip just getting absolutely destroyed afterwards. But my lips are doing a-okay. We're halfway through. Next up is Portrait. This one, it seems to be more like a pinky shade. Whoa, like a watermelon. Oh yeah, like summer watermelon vibes. These are pretty true to color with, you know, shopping around online. I don't like that I can't get glossier in store. I'm a little old fashioned that way, but they're pretty good about their shades with everything that I've picked up. 
And here's portrait up close. Such a nice watermelon, strawberry, fresh summer color. All right, this one is another one that I can't really pronounce. Cachette? I don't know. I'm so terrible at names. You can see it. <laughs> but this one is more of a brown, like a deep brown kind of a shade. I am so excited about this one. Ooh, I got a little messy with this one, but I absolutely love this shade. I think this would be a really nice fall shade. Yeah, this one is a perfect fall shade, especially if you don't want to wear those like deep burgundies during fall that are like the matte lipsticks, but you still want to follow the trends. This one is a pretty safe, more deep bambi shade and here's what it looks like up close such a pretty shade look at how shiny these are they are so shiny and hydrated all right last one is ember ember i can't really remember what this one is like it kind of looks a little berry i don't know Ah, this is another really good fall lipstick. Who's to say you can't wear fall shades in the summer, but this just looks so pretty. I love this. And this is what Ember looks like up close. I can't wait to wear these throughout the day and see how they wear and have a little bit better comparison to the Fenty ones. I do like that they don't have any glitter in them. Some of the Fenty shades do have some, not glitter gritty, but like a little bit of a sparkle. And I like that these don't really have that, but these are definitely, definitely worth the hype. If you love the hydrated lip tint kind of look, glossy, shiny, hydrating lips, definitely, definitely would suggest these ultra lips. They are so nice. And even though I just watched six of them, my lips feel better now than they did when I started. But that is everything for this video today. Quick little swatch video for you guys. But if you wanna see my whole Glossier haul, that video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here. Click on it and subscribe to my channel.